What a day. What a day. Huge show for you guys. Huge news blast. But first of all, Jimmy, why are you wearing the Villa shirt and not the Caravan T-shirt? Mate, because we're going for nine in a row on the weekend as we take on Bolton. So I thought... But it's Thursday. It'll be fitting. It's yeah, but Thursday. It's, yeah, but we haven't got a news blast tomorrow. It's Friday. It's, That's right. It's Thursday, but Friday. But Friday, yeah. Oh, good. All right. And <coughs> what's the match you've ever gone? Uh, I think it's ten in a row. Back in uh, 1975. There you go. Villa's going for nine in a row. Jimmy's yes. going to put the mocker on him and they're going to lose. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What good. happens though if um, if they beat Bolton? Bolton go down. Is yeah, that right? Bolton are, are relegated. Confirmed. All right. So any Bolton Confirmed. Wanderers fans out there? It's a bit of a shame. The, tr- the club's been. They're uh, on fire. Yeah. They're on fire. The Villa. All right. Into the show. Let's go. Oh, you should go over and, and get a Caravan T-shirt, though, yeah? Yeah. CaravanT-shirts.com. I mentioned that, yeah? Yes. All right, FFA Cup results last night. Unfortunately, a loss for our uh, local club, Wollongong Olympic. Uh, Dulwich Hill have advanced uh, to the FFA Cup, and they uh, go into round five to meet Tarawana Blueies. Mm. Um, I think that's a home game for Tara too, I think. Just no. No, it's not? No, it's not. Oh, right, OK. No. Oh, well, there you go. So the home side was on the left side, oh, which right. was uh, Dulwich Hill, yeah. All right, so uh, basically it was a 5-3 uh, penalties. Mm. It went on penalties. So yeah. um, unfortunate the scores were locked at 2 all at the end of uh, normal time and extra time and then uh, the penalty shootout. So um, unfortunate for Wollongong Olympic, it's been a, uh, a dreary couple of days for them after losing on the weekend to Coromel Rangers as well. Mm. Mm, mm. In a bit of a slump. But uh, yep. looking at the FFA Cup fixtures, which were drawn out yesterday oh, for big shout New out. South Wales. I want to give a shout out to, uh, shout out. to Jasper Smith. G'day, Jasper. Thanks for giving us a, uh, a bit of a heads up. Um, some nice graphics over at Coldo Waves. You're going to tell us about Coldo Waves yep. in a minute because they play uh, Wollongong the Wolves. Wollongong Wolves. The yes. Wollongong Wolves they so, play uh, in the FFA Cup round five. Definitely a David and Goliath. Go check out Coldale's <laughs> Facebook page. The graphic for the advert for the for the uh, game is is a classic. It's very so funny. Well yes, yes. Uh, in other FFA Cup fixtures, we see Bulleye FC take on Bonnie Rig White Eagles, Sydney United Ooh. 58 taking on Winona Sharks, Ooh. Rockdale City up against Wollongong United, Ooh. Dulwich Hill against Tarawana Blueies. And of course, the cold out waves taking on the oh, Wollongong Wolves. Wolves. Yeah. So, some some tough tough games there. Massive. Who who's got the toughest match out of that? Well, I think all three uh, NPL one teams against our local Illawarra Premier League uh, Premier League teams are tough. Um, you know, look, it's it's there for the taking. Yeah. It really is. Yeah. Uh, a couple of those teams are uh, concentrating on the NPL as well. So you never know; they might take a, a few of our teams a bit lightly. Um, yeah, the Sharkies, it's a hard one. Got a, got a one. tough one? Yeah, it's a hard one. Fair enough, fair enough. All right, we're looking at MPL football this weekend. The Wollongong Wolves, they travel up to Hensley Athletic Park to take on Hakoa Sydney City FC on Sunday. Kick wonder, off is 5 p.m. I just wonder where the show high will be playing because uh, show, the show from uh, the old White Eagles uh, uh, right. days, the championship right. uh, 2016 days, plays for Hakoa now. So I'm uh, just wondering if he'll be out there yeah. this weekend. Yeah, you never know. You never know. All right, uh, on Monday... Uh, the Illawarra Stingrays, they travel to Cromer Park to take on Manly Ooh, United. A drive Kick over the Harbour Bridge. PM. Yes, yeah. Mm. Bit of a trek for them. Good, but, good trek um, away. If you want to go for a day off up there, everyone's off anyway. It's Easter Monday. So uh, go for a drive over the bridge and check out uh, Manly. Mm, hopefully both teams Stingrays. can remain undefeated. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Plenty of IPL. Mm-hmm. Coming up. Looking forward to it. Yes. Uh, tonight, Balls Paddock. Bull IFC taking on Fernhill. That's good. That kickoff is 8 p.m. That's I don't a big mind match. That. Yeah. Thursday night football. I like it. Love it. Love like it. We'll it. talk more about it on the pod today. So make sure you listen to the podcast. Uh, Friday tomorrow. Good Friday. I'm looking forward to this. Uh, some great fixtures. Uh, I'm assuming that all the clubs will have the fish out. I know um, the White Eagles are selling a, a fish pack for ten bucks. Okay. Uh, I think they've got flathead tails. And there you go. There's your plug, Kaya. Um, so anyway. Uh, Paul Kembler taking on Tarawana Blueies. Yes. That's going to be a ripper. Tarawana, we had a we had a, a great catch up on the pod with their coach Peter Willis. Yep. So make sure you have a listen to that. Peter 
It was a great interview. I was really happy with that. It was mm. one of the, it's giving me goosebumps. It was that good. Um, and uh, yeah, so let's see what happens there. Tarawana Blue is out in their own at the very top of the ladder. So um, mm, mm. looking the goods, looking mm. the goods. Mm. Uh, White Eagles taking on Cringilla yep. over there at um, Terry Reserve. And um, to the lady who keeps complaining about the music, yeah, we will turn it down a little. But um, really, move out. <laughs> um, IPL fixtures, uh, further, further ones on Saturday. Go for them, Jimmy. Yeah, so on Saturday, JJ Kelly Park, Coniston FC taking on the Coromel Rangers. Very tough match for Coniston as Coromel are in form at the moment. Uh, Wollongong Olympic looking to bounce back uh, against the Winona Sharks out there at PCYC. Uh, and the last game on Saturday, kick off 5pm, Wollongong United taking on South Coast United out there at Macedonia Park. Good kickoff time. You can get to a few of the other games. Mm. And uh, the district league fixtures, district mate. League. Uh, plenty oh. happening out there. I'm gonna st- let me talk about Shelco first. Okay. Shelco of FC taking on Valley Rangers out at Barrick Heights. A big shout out to my mate, Louis Carrasco. He is <laughs> he is absolutely cheering, mate. Tottenham Hotspur fan, he's a big fan. Yeah. Massive fan. And okay. what uh, we're gonna talk about Tottenham in a sec, but uh, shout out to Louis. He's just taken the reins as the youth grade coach out there at Shelco. Right. Um, okay. Good on him, and he's going to help out with um, with the guys that, out at Shell Cove and, and first grade as well. And good on him. I'm so happy to see you out there helping out, Louis, uh, with Shell Cove. So good luck to Shell Cove on the weekend. Okay. Keep going, mate. All right. So all of the games are played on oh, Friday. Oh, jeez. They're all kicking off at 3 p.m. Berkeley. Berkeley, Berkeley. Sports. Oh. <laughs> They're at home again. It doesn't get any better, Wanderers. does it? Well, you keep losing at home. What's going on? <laughs> We're just getting them, all, getting them out of the way all, all at the start. Uh, all right, so uh, <laughs> Balambi, they the take gates. on the Kaima Quarriers at Elizabeth Park. Picton Rangers taking on Thoreau Thunder at Hume Oval. Uh, Unidera Hearts taking on University out there at Unidera Oval. Yep. And Helensburg Thistle taking on the Oak Flats Ooh, Falcons that's at Rex, Rex Jackson Park. Nice trip up there for uh, yes. Fab and the boys. We had a good chat to Fab. In fact, in fact, Fab, your interview was actually the biggest podcast interview this uh, month. Mm. So... Mm. Well golf club, golf club. Oh, golf. <laughs> is that a golf club? Is oh, yeah. yeah. Isn't it a fairy? Oh, whatever. Club? I don't know. Yeah. I don't, whatever. I've never heard of a golf club anyway. before. Anyway. You can't clap at golf. you got to. Oh. Yeah. Right. Okay. <laughs> anyway, uh, tonight, Net Strata Jubilee. Get up there. It's only just up the road. Um, I know that we'd rather be watching football of our own team, in our own A-League team in Wynn Stadium, but uh, what do you do? Get up the road, watch Sydney FC take on Perth Glory. Perth Glory are the champions. Uh, yeah, first versus second. Now it's just about Sydney uh, finishing the year off strongly to get that second spot. So uh, get a home uh, qualifying final for the grand final. So fingers crossed. Well, it's all about trying to get into form. <sighs> Heading into the finals. Speaking of, uh, yeah, speaking of finals form. and finals, oh my <laughs> gosh. What a, what a what morning. A morning. <laughs> An absolute crack of a morning. You do the Liverpool one, I'll do the next one. Right, so Liverpool, they ran out 4-1 winners against FC Porto this morning, which is uh, 6-1 on aggregate, and they now face Barcelona on the 30th. Tasty. First leg is at Barcelona Tasty. as well, I might Tasty. add. So it's talking to Adrian this morning. He's, yep. he's quietly the confident. The Beaker down in Shout confident. out to Beaker. So, yeah, shout All out right, to over at the Etihad. Wow, wow, <laughs> wow. What a game. Unbelievable. <laughs> Look, uh, first of all, I just want to say a big kudos to the VAR. Honestly, mm. They handled every decision perfectly uh, this morning. It was the most amazing game. Tottenham led 1-0, obviously, at home, um, coming to to Manchester City. Could you believe that a team could come to Manchester City and score three goals as the away team? Like, wow. Um, There's the last goal for for Tottenham Hotspur. They were worried it was a handball. VAR looked at it. It was a handball by the, um, the Man City defender. And the goal was allowed. And you think, oh, they're through. Four on an aggregate, four all an aggregate. And um, obviously with the all the away goals, Tottenham are through. Mate, two minutes, about two minutes to go in injury time. Aguero steps up, fires at home. And the whole Manchester City erupted. It, it was crazy. It wasn't Aguero, it was Sterling. Sterling, was Aguero it? Aguero cut it back to Sterling. Sterling put it in, but Aguero was the one that was He was the one that was offside. offside. Yeah, yeah. You're right. I was stupid, me. Anyway, no, no, no. it was all excitement, right? Yeah. Um, the crowd was just, like, losing it. And the sideline, the benches were just, like... And then to turn around VAR, offside. Oh, oh my. Oh, my. Yeah. They've won this. Tottenham are through. First time ever for you Tottenham supporters... 
What time were the match? I don't like Tottenham. What time were, like, in the match Come on, was, that, was that called? Um, was, was that, was it injury, like, or no, it was injury in, time. In stoppage yeah, it was, time? Yeah, it was two, two minutes to go in stoppages. Right, okay. It was like the 93rd minute or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was five minutes of uh, extra time. So, okay. so um, anyway, Tottenham, first time ever into the semi finals of the Champions League. And you have to face Ajax. And uh, Ajax, there. Mate, I don't, know, I don't know if you saw yesterday on the Daily Football Show post, but um, the, the ultras of Ajax. Did you see that footage? No, I didn't. Mate, go and check out Daily Football Show um, Facebook page. The ultras of AX were just going absolutely nuts. It was just a sea of people just jumping up and down. Right. And it was, it was like, it was really bizarre. But anyway, okay. good old AX. All right. Never know. Yes. It, uh, who are you, you tipping? Who are you tipping? No, let's, let's put it out there. Tottenham, tipping. tipping. Tottenham AX into the final or Liverpool Barcelona into the final? Which, which, who's going to play who? Um, you know what? I'd like to see Liverpool get through. Because Barcelona, they took Suarez, they took Coutinho. So for ah, Liverpool to beat them at Anfield in right. the second leg, right? I think that'd be a, a quite tasty. And I just can't go past Ajax. Sorry to all the Tottenham fans, mate. Like Ajax, they uh, they played some really nice football yesterday, and if they can mate, continue that, you can have nice football. But I just reckon, like Man City, what they've done is Herculean. Yeah. I hate to say it, I think it's going to be a Tottenham-Barcelona final. You reckon? Okay, right. I hate to say it, and, I, and you know, I do have some, some good friends that are, that are Liverpool fans. Um, we'll see what happens, but I, I, we'll just wait and see. I, 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 look, if Liverpool get through to the final, they'll win it, and, you know, I just hope they win the league. I want them to win the EPL, to be honest, so... Um, all the eggs in that basket. Maybe put some karma points elsewhere. Anyway, tomorrow <laughs> is for the lesser teams. Uh, the Europa League. Yeah, like you Chelsea and League. Arsenal and teams like that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> for lesser teams. Hang on, where's, is West Ham in any of the competitions? Shush. Okay, anyway. Sparta. So, uh, you're yeah. In the, you're, <laughs> in the, uh, you're in the championship. You can't talk. Mate, anyway. it's got champion in it. Oh, yeah, right. Uh, anyway, so... <laughs> Uh, tomorrow morning, Chelsea, they take on Slavia Praga. Praha? Praga? Prague. Prague. Yeah. Uh, Chelsea are currently le- leading 1 0 on aggregate. Uh, Iron Track Frankfurt, they take on Benfica, with Benfica winning so far 4 2 on aggregate. So, the away goals a few too. away yeah, goals there hard. for them. Over in Napoli, uh, Arsenal go to Napoli to uh, face a very formidable stadium to start with. The crowd's absolutely maniacs there, but. Mm. Uh, you know, uh, let's see if they can hold on to that 2-0 advantage that they take there. And uh, obviously the, the all-Spanish derby, Valencia taking on Villarreal uh, with um, Valencia leading 3-1 at present. Um, yeah, interesting. Mm. Ligue 1. Ligue 1. Uh, PSG, yeah. they continue to endure a two-game losing streak this morning. With They're 20 points in front. Does it really matter? Like, I think they played their third, third team. Yeah, well, it does say they're 20, 20 yeah, points yeah, yeah. in the lead. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't need to read it. I know. Tricky. Right. <laughs> there you go. Right. Anyway, international news as reported by One Football, Chelsea coach Maurizio Sarri is happy to be sacked. Apparently um, so. Having a frustrated life in West London. Uh, according to journalist Duncan Castles, the former Napoli man is planning to move back to Italy at the end of the season. So, uh, ciao. Interesting one, that one. Uh, Eurosport has announced that former Watford owner Lawrence Bassini has agreed to buy the Bolton Wanderers. And uh, Bolton, they've lost five out of their last six games. As we said at the start of the show, if they lose to Aston Villa, they, um, they're relegated to League One. Interesting. Uh, very similar to, to Sunderland. Mm. And um, I've been watching Sunderland's progress this year. They, they look like they might be able to climb out of that um, that division. Mm. So fingers crossed. Uh, well, same same scenario. If you haven't watched that Sunderland uh, video, uh, I think it's on Netflix. It is. Yeah. Yep. Um, it's actually a good watch, and you'll see the process of when they got relegated and the team, the the uh, club got bought out by new owners. And you know, sometimes new owners can bring in new uh, you know a new lease of life and a new. Yeah, well, well, it's quite sad awesome. because I've been seeing on, on Facebook quite a bit, there's been a few rumours about yep. Bolton having to forfeit the last of their games because they haven't been able to pay police and stewards and players and staff and stuff like that. So the sooner the better that this all gets sorted out uh, will be good. All right, this one's a bit of a furphy. <laughs> now, we're not sure when, when, when this, this was photo, taken, yeah. but uh, <laughs> very interesting stuff. We've been going on about it all week, the Drake curse. Mm-hmm. It has continued. Guess who's been pictured with Drake? None other than Kevin De Bruyne. <laughs> yes. Um, now, we don't know whether when, when that picture was taken, but, you know, uh, hey, the timing of it and the laughable part of it is that 
you know, Drake's a curse on everyone at the moment and yes. Roma are staying well away. Yes. Well away. <laughs> so yeah, have a look for yourself. There you go. Anyway, yeah. that's a massive blast for today. A massive podcast coming up this afternoon. So if you, you haven't listened to our podcast, please get on the pod and have a listen. You can search up Wollongong Football Show on iTunes, Spotify, Google Podcasts or, or your own favourite podcast apps, I guess. Um, yep. But the best thing yep. of all is to get get our app. We've got our own app. If you haven't got it, you just go to bit.ly forward slash WFSAWP. Mate. Um, that's our app. Mate, we've got an absolute massive show coming up yeah. today. We've got Luke Wilkshire, Scott Chipperfield coming in the studio. We spoke to Peter Willis, Jordan Murray after his uh, contract extension with the Central Coast Mariners, plus Mitch's Mail co- covering everything local football. Um, there's a break for the Pearl as the women's, they've got the weekend off. They do, they do. And, uh, yeah, we had our, our training session last night and I said, see you in two weeks. Yep. And then uh, also the preview for all of the Hyundai A-League action coming up over the weekend. So absolute bumper show for you guys uh, coming out today. And you can, of course, listen to all of the segments over the weekend. Now, there is going to be some very cool videos coming your way. Yes. jesse has been very busy. <laughs> So we need you to subscribe. Please. Subscribe, please. Hit that button. Um, now, like I said yesterday, I, I will be term- – no, I didn't. Um, we won't terminate anyone, but we need 100 subscribers by the end of this weekend. Enjoy the four – is it four or five, Jesse? I think it's five or six. There might be six. Enjoy all the videos that are five. coming your way over the five. weekend. All right. Um, there's some pretty cool stuff. There is. I like what there I is. like what he did with my West Ham. I really like that. But anyway, time to go over to caravantshirts.com and make that purchase before it's too late. We haven't got long to go this month before we get our uh, a new advertising spot <laughs> in May. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a happy Easter, and we'll yeah, see you take, on Have Tuesday. a safe break. See you when we come yes. back. Bye. Jimmy, guess what? What? The caravan t-shirts have they arrived. They have arrived. I only ordered these. Nice. It's only five days ago. Maybe, oh, really? maybe less. Okay. Let's have a look. Open I right, surprised mate. you. You certainly did. I made the choice for Jimmy. Okay. Let's hope you got the right this one. This one's mine. Is that one yours? Straight this out of Compton. Mine. Straight out of. Yes, he's doing okay. <laughs> That's mine. <laughs> Jimmy, this is your. You have no, mine. I'll hold that one. You have mine. Oh, it's blue. I like that. Oh, That's blue, eh? Oh, no, you it's like blue. blue. Oh, no, you like blue. Oh, what'd you get? Here we go. Here we go. This is Jimmy's. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I love it. I love it. Oh. All right, okay. let's swap. All right, there you go. All right, we're going to throw them on. All right. Are you ready? Yep. Okay, let's do it. There we go, eh? Looking wow. good, eh? Looking good. Look at that. Yeah. Caravan t-shirts, yeah, get it. This has been a Podular Media Production.